Oh, welcome to the Golden Spiral Lab. Gosh, this is a great one. I, I can't believe we haven't posted this earlier. I've been doing this for a long time now. And this is your finished product. Maybe you've seen something like this before. It looks a lot like that Nautilus shell. So, um, well, we're going to go through the construction of this and learn a lot of really cool math along the way. All right, um, uh, we're going to start with this. And when I say this, it's, uh, it's just a square with a couple of rays extended on it. I put some stops on it like that. So, you know, just so you can't go nuts on it. Now, um, uh, see, now if you're not in my class and you're not pulling this off the server, well, I guess you're going to have to start with a blank drawing. We'll follow the link there and then come back to this point. But um, if you are in my class, here we go. Uh, that's Nani snoring, by the way. We've got, um, we got a square A, B, C, D, and we are going to construct the golden ratio. Really neat stuff. So let's get to it. Let's select points or segments A, B, and C, D, and we're going to construct the midpoints. Now we could label them, but honestly, yeah, we don't have to, uh, just for the purpose of instruction. I'm going to take the midpoint of A, B, and draw a circle. Snap it. Make sure it snaps to C or to D. And we're going to do the same here from the center of CD, snap it to A or B. So your figure now looks like this, a little bit like a fish, well, okay, an eye or something. Um, I'm looking at that and say, I've generated now the two magic points. I need this intersection here, go ahead and snap that one, and snap this intersection right here. Let's go ahead and label those. These are the only four, uh, well, the other, got four. We're only going to label two more points. We'll call those um, G and H. Yeah, those are good. Well, let's, well, let's color code them the same. So, we've got, um, well, really, we're, I mean, the magic's already been done. Now we just have to see it. So, go ahead and hide your construction circles. You know we're going to be doing this a lot. We're going to hide those. Command H or, well, you know, display hide. You know that stuff by now. But now let's draw in some segments, shall we? I want you to draw GH. I want you to draw BH. And now, not CG. No, 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 no. I want you to draw DG. We did it that way on purpose because we want to do some measuring. And this is going to be fun. This is the, well, just a little number exploration. You've got D, G selected. Select also the segment GH. And select, nope, BH right there. So we've got these three different length segments. And we're going to measure them. Length. Oops, it went off this. There we go. Now, I set them to centimeters. Uh, and my preferences. And, and also... And also a, a ten thousandths place. What was it? And um, we just want to see all these place values because, well, that's where our magic is. And we're now going to we're going to do a little bit of division. Uh, go up to the number menu, or if you're in the old software like I am, um, yeah, where is it? Calculate right there under measure. But either event, you want to get this screen. And I'm going to take this, I'll move that out of the way. I'm going to take the DG, and I want to divide it by GH. Okay. Well, that's our magic right there. And, um, well, if you don't recognize it, that's all right. We're going to do this again. We're going to calculate. This time I'm going to take GH, and I'm going to divide by BH. Heavens to Murgatroyd's the same number. What we've just done, we've just done, I want you to consider this. If, if I've got this little rectangle here, I've got a square. I've turned it into this rectangle. This rectangle, DG, uh, well, uh, AHGD, has the same ratio of sides. Well, let me say that better. Aspect ratio, that's a better way to say it. DG is to GH as GH 
is to BH. Again, the length of this rectangle, horizontally, is to its vertical width, as this length is to this width. That's amazing stuff. And we have something, let me get this drawing out of the way. We are going to produce this ratio. This ratio, the golden mean, the golden ratio, this number so famous has a name. Phi, phi, fo, fum, so there's your phi. Well, uh, we can talk about all that number stuff later. But let's get back to the, the pretty drawing. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way. Wah, right like that. And let's, let's get back to the, uh, the drawing part. Because, again, we want to make a spiral out of this. Um, oh, I, did, I forgot to tell you. You should put your name in there. And um, whatever your name happens to be. Oh, if it's Wilbur, you could put Wilbur. And uh, always put your name on the drawing when you're sending it in to me. Um, in case you forgot to name the outside of the drawing, I'll be able to see it there. So um, we're going to generate a bunch of quarter circles and a bunch of squares. We're going to keep on carving squares out of this. Um, so I guess let's, let's start doing making some of the squares. I'm going to resize this so it takes up more of the room so we can see it a little better. Now, I want you to imagine. I, I always say in class with the right hand, it locks on. Just like that, I want you to consider the spiral. This square is on the left, next one's on the top, the right, and over here on the bottom. We're going to spin around like this and visualize this. I guess I should, you know, in class I'd be using my hand. Well, it works a little better. So let's make a square here. We're going to use circles. CG, GC. Classic circle construction, that's going to, well, I could snap this point here. I can snap this point here. And when I connect them, of course, I have a square. Now, hide my construction marks, my circles, good stuff. Now, circles here and here. I'll save a little time. You know, If you get good with this, you can just snap the segment right from there to there and it will install the points as well. Okay, now hide your constructions. Okay, now again the pattern, see? Wax on, I keep spinning on like this. So, let's keep that square going. Now we're on the bottom. Oh, we're getting good at this. Grab the segment tool, snap, and let's get rid of Ah, uh, uh, search. No, 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 no. Hide. Keep this pattern going. And you see now we're back to the left. Now we can make this a little bit. Uh, get, uh, uh, snap. Hope that's all right. There we go. See the pattern? And back to the top going to run out into a problem pretty soon. It'll get so small that well, us old people already can barely see it. Maybe one or two more. There's another square. Let's make another square right there. And you can see that pattern spiraling the squares from the left, top, right, bottom. Left, top, right, bottom. Maybe might, well, let's make one more. Why not? Oh, I see I missed there. That's bad, very bad. Remember, you got to snap it to those points. Now, if you're using that version 5, make those terribly large points. Uh, change your point style. Make them smaller. Change it to dot so, it's, so it doesn't overpower your drawing. So you got something like that. And each of these rectangles, every time you cut out a square, you you're leaving behind a rectangle that's similar to the one before it. All the rectangles are similar. That's really neat. Now, we're going to use quarter circles. The arcs are going to be all quarter circles, and that's going to be our spiral. So now imagine, I want the curve this way. Now, the center of the circle containing that arc would be B, 
And we know math always sweeps counterclockwise, so we're going to go to C. That's our radius. And then we're going to uh, sweep it counterclockwise to A, B, C, A. I go to Construct, Arc on Circle. Sweet. Now, let's look at this square. You can visualize you want the quarter circle to go this way. Well, this is going to be my center. This is point one. It's going to rotate counterclockwise to here. Construct arc on circle. Now, I'm going to go to the center here. Again, I'm visualizing an arc this way. The center is always, imagine it's towards the inside. Can you visualize the inside? One, two, three, construct arc on circle. Over on this next square, here's the inside. One, two, three, construct arc on circle. Hey, we're getting the hang of this. Now, every now and then, see, one, two, three, a student will tell me, I can't do it. I clicked on the three points and it won't let me. Well, it's because you screwed up on your square. If it's not a square, it'll, it won't give you the option, arc on circle. So make sure you've got your squares done beautifully. Construct, arc on circle. One more. One, two, three. Construct, arc on circle. And um, another thing you can do is just resize as you're going. As you resize your figure, as you resize your figure, you're demonstrating. You're, you know, while you're demonstrating that, those, that the squares are, in fact, squares. Otherwise, they'll fall apart. You all know that. Sketchpad constructions. Get that out of the way. And, um, well, let's do a little shading. Now, the coloring part of this, the students love it, but it's, it's also actually meaningful because, um, you know, right after spring break, we're going to be working with circles and arcs, so they might as well learn something about them. Um, if I select one, well, I could just select them all, uh, but let's just do one. I construct arc interior, and now I'll know the difference between a sector and a segment. <laughs> Leads to a lot of fun class discussion. So go ahead, go nuts with it. You can you know, select multiple yeah, arcs at the same time, depending on your version of software. I believe uh, version 5 will give you a different color for each sector or arc, but um, I work in good old 4 because I like it better. Construct interiors, and that is your sectors, and you can change your colors, of course. You can play as much as you want with this. It's a fun, fun, fun program. So there you go, and, um, and if you want to do something, select them again, and maybe you want to get that two-tone effect. Get them all selected, construct, arc interiors, and let's go with segments. Segments, maybe change it up a little bit, and there you go. So, you have now constructed the golden ratio. You have constructed the golden spiral. <laughs> what could be better than that?